146 minutes later. <laughs> Welcome to episode three. Very quickly, a little recap of what's going on today. We were on the bus for like seven hours. We're in Sermstad, Sweden right now on the border of Sweden and Norway. We have a preseason tournament here. We have a game against Färjestad tomorrow that I'm gonna play. And then the next day is against Frölunda here. And then Saturday is gonna be a golf day with the boys. Sunday back home. But yeah, another game day tomorrow. Make sure to subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. And I'll see you tomorrow. har vi första teckningen och det är Sackrisson som vinner den. Här är Thunberg tillbaka in i spel och vi har ett mål. Här är det han precis blir fulltalig. En gång ett skott från Pocka och den här gången. Det är Pocka. Lindbro släpper och den där blir ju riktigt dålig möjlighet för Camper. Nere i egen zon är Fredrik Lenke Per Åslund in och där kommer målet! Eidsell och där är Pocka helt fri. Lansing med fart och han gör det där så fint och lägger upp den. Spelare kan öppna upp rejält Joakim Nygård och där kommer målet! Dessa och Joakim Nygård, vi vet ju om det, han är snabb på skridskorna och kunde lägga in den pucken fint. Får... Two days later. After 12, yeah, here it is. Happy birthday, Matthew. Thank you. Appreciate you. Everybody say happy birthday, Kato, in the comments, right? Yeah. Please. <laughs> That was my first start in the preseason, my first time ever in Norway. And I do apologize for the bad quality of the clips and the amount of highlights during the preseason since we don't have all our systems running. So uh, pretty limited one what I can what I can use. But I felt a lot better than I felt in the half game against Mora. Uh, I was controlling a lot more pucks. They had a lot of traffic and so I was able to check those boxes off and get get used to that again and uh, a lot of situations where they were throwing pucks at the net there's high tips or low tips and pucks getting redirected on the ice so i was able to uh play big and stay controlled and not overplay and kind of be ready for for all those bounces so that was good to uh check those boxes carter ashton got the first goal with the tip in and then carter camper had was all alone top shelf 
those were the goals for us. First goal, they had a power play. Uh, they kind of passed to the point. Um, Vida Lepoca had a really good one-timer. <laughs> went bar down, but uh, I was obviously following the puck on this side, and it disappeared behind our forward blocking the shot, and he ended up shooting it from the other side. So the whole release was behind the forward, so I, I couldn't pick it up, and next thing you know, it was ping, and in the net. Second goal, they uh, kind of threw again from the point, and then they caught their guy in front, tipped it up, hit my shoulder, bounced right in front to their tape. They had an empty net. It is what it is. And then we went to overtime. Um, there's a breakaway that I stopped, and then our D-man kind of just skated by me and knocked, the, knocked my stick off my hand, and then they had another shot. <laughs> shot me in the head and then they regrouped and they came down and they had a breakaway and I didn't have my stick and they shot five hole. It was one of those things where I knew I didn't have a stick but I couldn't really drop down because I would have been too late and I tried to like squeeze my knees as much as possible with while still holding the edge and they were able to just sneak it through but uh, yeah, not many too many times I'm gonna lose my stick and we're giving up a breakaway, but it's preseason So of course that kind of stuff happens and then the next day we had a game against Frölunda that we lost 4-3 in overtime uh, Mantas Armali started that game Carter Ashton scored again and Jesper Kondergaard scored two for us this game. It was a good battle uh, Two good teams going at it. You could tell we were pretty tired from the night before there were some issues with the ice both games so Pucks were bouncing wasn't really the, the greatest situation for us. But I feel like we're in, in a much better place than we were a week ago after these three preseason games this week. Definitely nailing down our systems. Our defensive game has been great. Our D has been doing a really good job. Like I said, those the traffic situations, picking up rebounds, all that kind of stuff. So so very happy to see that progression. And I think it's, it's a very positive first week for us with games. But as you probably noticed, I'm wearing these new Lexan shirts. You can grab yours now. I think it's uh, up here maybe. There's a link somewhere up top. Score some merch. There's all kinds of other stuff. Support the channel that way. But that's going to wrap up our Strumstad Hockey Classic Tournament Week. He had a lot of fun. Preseason continues next video. Whitney's finally coming to town with our dog. And let me know if you have any suggestions. What do you want to see around the rink, and around where we travel, games, all that kind of stuff. I try to do my best. I appreciate you for watching, if you made it this far. Subscribe, ring that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on that next video. And I'll see you soon.